What is up guys, my name is Kegronaut, but just call me Keg, and I'm here on the PTR on my Guardian Druid for patch 715, and I thought that I'd make smaller bite-sized videos of all of the changes happening to these tanks that I'm covering, because I have streamed my raw, just straight up first impressions once the PTR went live, but that is a three hour long video, and I understand that not everybody's going to want to watch it all, or sift through it individually to try and find their own tanks. So I thought I'd make smaller dedicated videos to try and get all the changes out to people, and they can digest that information, and you know, and be happy with that. So, uh, I will preface this though, before I even start, that Blizzard has said themselves that a lot of the class changes have not yet fully been implemented on the PTR right now. Uh, there have been, there's going to be a lot of talent changes for a lot of specs. But uh, currently, if you don't see a lot of changes or you know, only see a couple, maybe that's it or, you know, maybe that there's going to be more coming. We're not all entirely sure yet, but I thought that, you know, the PTR has been out for a couple days. So what they have now is possibly uh, what might be happening. So I thought that I would just cover that now. A lot of the changes happening with the Guardian Druid are going to be in the talents and also in the legendaries. So let's just jump into the talents now. Uh, row 15 is the same, row 30 is the same, 45 is the same, 60 is the same, 75 is the same, uh, row 90 however has a small change. So Earth Warden, uh, now it's when, whenever you deal damage, uh, direct damage with Thrash, you gain a charge of Earth Warden, reducing the damage of the next auto attack you take by 30%. Earth Warden may have up to three charges. On live, the way Earth Warden worked is after X amount of seconds, you would gain a charge of Earth Warden that would reduce the next auto attack you take by 30%. It worked similar, but the way that you actually get these charges has changed on the PTR. So instead of having to wait X amount of seconds, every time you deal damage, that first initial swipe with Thrash, so this thing, once you see that orange claw marks coming around you, that's when you have a chance to get these charges. It's guaranteed every time that you hit an enemy and you can have up to three charges. So... This is quite of a this is quite a good buff to Earth Warden. I don't know exactly how it's going to play out between Guardian of Elune and Survival of the Fittest because these are very very powerful talents. But maybe in dungeon scenarios where you know you're just tanking a lot of ads or maybe even something like world quests, Earth Warden is going to pull out a little bit in terms of just raw damage reduction. However, we do have to think that this is on only auto attack damage. So 30% damage reduction only on auto attack damage compared to Guardian of Elune, which increases the duration of Iron Fur and Mark of Ursal by 2 seconds and increases our healing on Frenzied Region by 20%. That's hard to beat. Additionally, Survival of the Fittest is also quite hard to beat because you can pair this with Brambles, you can pair it with Lunar Beam also, you can pair it with Rage of the Sleeper and just do a bunch of AoE on-demand damage where Earth Warden, you know, I don't know, I mean, maybe it'll pull out a little bit, but... It's definitely better than it is on live right now, but it's not as good as it possibly could be. But either way, you know, it's still kind of a beginner talent, which is fine. Row 100, Rend and Tear has not been changed. Lunar Beam has a slight buff. It used to be a one and a half minute cooldown. Now it's a 1.25 minute cooldown. Not that big of a change. It's still kind of a weak comparatively to Rend and Tear and Pulverize, but it, it is a bit faster of a cooldown, so you can use it more often. Pulverize, however, has had quite a significant change. Uh, a devastating blow that consumes two stacks of your thrash on the target to deal 321,000 physical damage and reduces all damage you take by 9% for 20 seconds. So on live servers, this did a lot less physical damage and it only reduced the damage you take by 8% for 20 seconds. But now that it's in been increased by only 1% to 9%, I mean, that's enough. It's good. But, uh... The main thing here is that it does increase physical damage. So currently the math people and the theory crafters have been saying that Pulverize is uh, going to be the go-to over Rend and Tear for single target. Even so, it's going to be so good in terms of just raw DPS and maybe not physical damage reduction because it is 1% less, but it's going to be, you're going to get more benefits by using Pulverize on single target fights than Rend and Tear, even if you have... The legendary legs like I do, which allow you to stack up Rend and Tear two more times. That's kind of crazy, I think. I mean, Pulverize, it's it's a good talent. I like it. Um, it's just kind of weird that even on single target, it's going to beat out Rend and Tear. But either way, uh, we'll see how it works. Um, the only thing I don't know exactly how to work this is that do we want to use Pulverize every time we get a chance to? Or do we only want to use Pulverize whenever we have to reapply the buff? That I don't know yet, and I will get to you guys 
uh, soon after I figure that out. But I'm going to show you exactly what's happening with these buffs. So Earth Warden, every time that we deal damage with um, Thrash, that initial direct damage, we're going to get three stacks since we're hitting three targets. You see that? It does say it's only re going to reduce the damage by 1%, but that's obviously just a tooltip error. If we get rid of this and we reapply Thrash, we're going to get three more stacks. So that's how that's working right now. And now that we have two stacks of Thrash, we can use Pulverize. So that's going to do a lot of damage, and we're going to get a buff for 20 seconds that is going to reduce the damage we take by 9%. So in single target fights, that's the way to go because just simply, like, we only have to deal with one target. We get 9% damage reduction, which is only 1% less if you have the legendary legs. And it's going to do a lot more upfront single target damage. So that's kind of how the changes are working right now. Not too drastic, but definitely some minor improvements. However, a lot of the other changes that we have are taking place in the legendaries. So Blizzard has buffed a couple of the general ones, including Prydaz and Safuz, and we'll also see possibly another spec-specific legendary soon. So let's get out of combat. So Prydaz, uh, this was kind of a, a meme, really, if you were able to get this neck piece and you were a tank, because you just honestly couldn't really proc it that often. But now on PTR, it says every 30 seconds, gain an absorb shield for 30% of your maximum HP every 30 seconds. That's it. Just every 30 seconds, you're guaranteed 30% of your HP as a shield. Like it's a really powerful guard, for instance, just every 30 seconds. And all of the math people and the theory crafters have been saying that if this goes live with this current implementation, then this is absolutely best in slot for Guardian Druids because we have the biggest health pool among all of the tanks and so if we get 30% of our HP as a shield guaranteed every 30 seconds there's nothing that can outbeat this this is too good of a legendary in terms of damage reduction just because we have such a gigantic shield value the chest piece has been buffed too it used to be only a 50% increase of those effects that it's saying but now it's 75% that's okay it's it's a little bit of a change but uh definitely it's still a good option is just a nice passive solid damage reduction lufa wrappings haven't been changed the waste i had said that this was a horrible legendary and it still is kind of to an extent but it says your attacks cause an additional 30 percent damage as physical to enemies above 85 percent health and heal you for 100 percent of the damage done so on live servers it was 30 percent extra damage to enemies above 90 percent health and it didn't give us the leech, but now it's giving us leech with 5% extra like barrier of entry. Um, so it's okay. It's not that great, but uh, you know, definitely we'll see with more math stuff, but arguably this is not going to be good at all for guardian druids. The legs have not changed. The feet haven't changed. This ring hasn't changed. Sifu secret has changed though. So successfully applying a loss of control effect to or interrupting an enemy Grants you 70% increased movement speed and 25% haste for 10 seconds. This effect may occur once every 30 seconds. So now we have an increase of 10% more haste. So now we have 25% as of uh, instead of 15%. And now we can get this buff every time that we either uh, like do a loss of control effect or that we interrupt something. So this is going to be pretty good for dungeons because obviously uh, haste is very good for guardian druids. And 25% haste is like a mini bloodlust or heroism every 30 seconds as long as we can take advantage of this. But we have things like Incapacitating Roar, we have Typhoon, we have uh, Mighty Bash, we have War Stomp if you're a Tauren. Like, we have a lot of things that we can use to get this buff, and it's pretty good for dungeons, although the other ones are arguably going to be a little bit better. But now if you get this ring, it's not going to be the end of the world. However, we do have a new trinket for tanks, Archimonde's Infinite Command, gain an Absorb Shield for 50% of your maximum health for 10 seconds. When the shield is consumed or expires, 100% of the damage absorbed is dealt to nearby enemies, split evenly. 1 minute and 15 second cooldown. So guys, this is an insane legendary. Insane, because it's on demand 50% 50, 50 of our maximum health for 10 seconds. And it's a pretty large DPS uh, cooldown as well because it's going to do a lot of the damage. So it says 100% uh, of the damage absorbed is dealt to nearby enemies. So whether the actual shield itself, the, the whole thing, is consumed or if after 10 seconds it's expired, any damage that was absorbed with this is going to be dealt. So I have currently right now in bear form, I have 4.6 million health. So if I were to use this, I get 2.6 million HP as a shield, 
And then after that, I'm going to do 2.6 million HP to all of my targets. If there's two targets, they're going to get half and half. If there's three, they could all get a third. If there's one target, though, that's a giant DPS cooldown if you can burn through all of it. Like on Ursoc, that's going to be a very large DPS increase every minute and every minute and 15 seconds because it's going to do 2.6 million damage every time. So this is a very, very, very good legendary. Arguably, the three crafters have been saying that Prydaz and this trinket are going to be best in slot for uh, surviving for just damage reduction because it's so many guards and so many uh, just bubbles really that we can use to reduce our damage. However, we can't argue that Lufa Wrappings is very good for damage. Uh, the chest piece is also very solid, just uh, damage reduction. We have the feet that is going to do a lot, a lot, a lot of healing for us. The legs are also very strong because in AoE situations, we're going to be able to get a lot of value out of Rend and Tear. You know, we, there's a lot of good legendaries. They made a lot of good changes. We'll see exactly what is going to guarantee best in slot. But currently, the, the general consensus is Pride as once this goes live, is definitely going to be best in slot for Guardian Druids for surviving, for just tanking in general. But either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's the end of the video. Uh, please like, please comment, share, subscribe, all those things. Uh, and keep an eye out for further videos. I'm going to have the Brewmaster and the Vengeance Team Hunter out soon. So you guys can keep an eye out for that. So once again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.